We continue on tonight with the story of Michaela Mayo. Part one last night showed a glimpse of how the community welcomed her home after a long rehabilitation from a brain aneurysm. Michaela and her family wanted to return the favor and thank everyone who has supported them online or in person at the place where it all started, Gwynn High School. ABC 10's Rick Tarsitano was there for the heartfelt hello. Ladies and gentlemen, we try to create inspiration for these kids each and every year. We try to make sure they go into the seasons knowing what it takes to work and work and work. Because there are moments in life where you just never, ever, ever want to give up. I mean, when we came out of the motorhome, it was just like the cheers, and they just got louder and louder, and it just meant a lot for me to, to have our community supporting Michaela like that. I, she needed that. It was amazing, but I was terrified. <laughs> there were so many people. It was just it was crazy, but I'm so thankful for the community support. Overall, this experience has really helped me. I learned not to take things for granted. It was just amazing how God used me to bring people together. It was really cool. The Mayo's closest friends continued their support online and in the community with bake sales and spaghetti dinners, garnering financial support for the family. People are establishing accounts to help raise money for the family. I've been involved in fundraisers and I've never seen an outpouring like this in my life. And it's not just like our local community who's fantastic, it's all over the country. Oh my gosh, the costs have to be you know, astronomical. It's not just her medical care. It's, you know, the family staying down in Ann Arbor for two months. It's the outpatient therapy that they have to endure now, the lost time from work. But fortunately, Tina and her family are solid to the core. She's amazingly strong. The first time I actually talked to her when she was down in Ann Arbor, I was crying and I was like, how come you're not? She has just been strong throughout the entire thing. And I think obviously that has been passed down to Michaela because look at where they are now. Reporting for ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Rick Tarzitani.